In today's video, we are going to try and make a grilled cheese sandwich with 31 different types of cheeses. Is it going to be delicious or are we going to hate it? I'm so happy right now. You like cheese. I love we cheese. Have 31 different 31. types of cheese. That today. is including what is apparently the world's best cheese. This, this was, yes, awarded the best cheese in the world last year. Rogue River blue cheese made with raw milk. All the way down Oregon, to... Oregon, USA. Kraft singles. And then, yes, Kraft Deli Deluxe American mm -hmm. sliced cheese. Now, I honestly was just so curious to know what would happen if you melted a bunch of different types of cheeses together. and. It kind of sounds really good. So we have everything, like I said, from Kraft to uh, something that you just find at Harmon's, just Cache Valley, medium cheddar cheese, to things like Mizithra. Here's a Mimolette. I don't know if I'm probably not saying that right because it's French. 12 month made in that part of France. <laughs> Kilo Kessle. Sure. From Colombia. Austria? This one's all the way from the enchanted lands of Oregon. It's called Vampire mm, Slayer, guys. I it's assume it's very garlicky, garlic, and I love that garlic idea. Garlic cheddar. So, part one yep. is going to be tasting all 31 oh, yes. to see how we like them. Mizithra has a very interesting dry, powdery texture. Oh, but a very strong, wow. That is a very strong flavor. But it's you usually don't eat a whole lot of it. It's no, crumbled I'm, on top. No, of yeah. As a like on a salad or something. Ooh. That has an incredible amount of like savory umami flavor to it. Isn't it fantastic? That is good. I love that. I get it. Oh, wow. That chive and shallot comes too strong. That would be so good on a cracker. Oscar Wilde. That is a sweet cheese. Oh yeah. Not bad. Very smooth. Yep. Not a lot of flavor. Not bad yeah, though. Mild, but in a good way. Vampire Slayer. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> Slayer indeed. <laughs> wow, I like garlic, but this might be too much garlic. It's actually quite pleasant. That's good. Comte. That's just texture. There's no like flavor to it. It's just kind of bitter. Pass. Pass. Why would you waste time and money nope. eating of that? when you could be eating this other good stuff. Yeah. MT Tam Triple oh. Cream. <laughs> Potent. Lamb Gouda. It's just a brie. I like brie if it's like with something else. Not bad, but strong. Ah, yes. Mm. You can really taste how there should be a cheeseburger with that. <laughs> okay, I'm not good at spicy, so uh -uh. small nibble. My tongue is burned. Wow. I don't think we can put that on the sandwiches very much. That is a contact spicy. Like we can do like one Little, shred yes. mixed with everything else. Holy. Have we done all those? No. Okay. Very like waxy. Mm hmm World's best cheese, the blue cheese. Oh no. That smells like sour mold. Not just mold, sour mold. Best cheese in the world award winner. Most flavor award, sure. Yeah. Best? Where's my mizithra? I'm, I'm not a cheese person. I don't get it. I know that. I understand I'm uncultured. I don't enjoy that even a little bit. Like there's no amount of that that would be like, that adds to this. It's just sour blue unpleasantness to me. So here's how things are organized right now. Good cheeses, and you gotta understand when we say good, we mean ones that we actually enjoyed the taste and, of. And, and it's not like best to less. It's just all of this is just like, yeah, those are These good are cheeses. Good. Yep, the mizithra is always my favorite. I love the flavor of mizithra. These ones are middling. These are ones that we're either just not impressed with or just didn't, nah, they're or, right. we, or we couldn't handle the yeah. spice. These are the ones that we didn't care for. Pass. Just sour or, you know, not flavors that we particularly, again, our unculturedness don't particularly care for. Overall, we got mostly cheeses we like, which yeah. is good. Uh, but now it's time to start combining these in fun ways. So here's the plan. We are going to do a grilled cheese sandwich. We are going to do some nachos and we are going to do some mac and cheese, each of them using 31 different types of cheese. Some of the cheeses will be heavily represented. Some of the cheeses will be very lightly represented. Mostly that one. <laughs> and also that one because we think we'd probably die. Neither of us are very good at spices. But the rest, even the ones we don't really like, we will add in to, to give it all a good, a good chance. And we're gonna see if we end up with a good cheese flavor or a bad cheese flavor.
All right. I'm excited for this. Are you? Are I, you excited? I am, because I think most of the flavor we have is good. That's so, the mazithra, you can just see as like uh -huh. white shavings of completely unmelted. Hmm. Flavors keep coming. Yeah. Like it doesn't, as you bite into it, you're like, cheesy. And then like, after you've chewed it up and even swallowed, you're like, ooh. I'm getting other, I'm getting yeah. other flavors hitting. The Asiago comes through so strong. Not shocking at all. It's actually really fun because you don't know what bite you're going to get next. That second one, I had, so the first one I said was like kind of mild first and then flavors. Mm -hmm. That second one, it had more cheese on it. Way more flavor came through on that one. I liked it a lot, in fact. Mm -hmm. That was a very good, like, ooh, that's a, a yummy nacho right there. Okay. I like that. Mm -hmm. Again, nothing specific comes through super strong, but... Overall, it's just like, ooh, cheese. Yeah. Like if I ordered a grilled cheese sandwich at a restaurant and I got this, I'd be like, dang, well done. I like that. Our cheese sauce is not uh, entirely smooth. No. But it tastes really good. That's good. Let's pour that on some pasta. All right. Yeah, cheese sauce. That's just so much cheese sauce for the amount of pasta that is. Cheesy. 31 cheeses. That's quite good. The flavors really are coming through. I really like that. The flavors are coming through way better in the wow. cheese sauce than the grilled cheese. Yeah. All oh, that is, that is strong. And again, though, that the little bits of bad mm. flavor aren't really bad. No. Uh, the only problem at all, honestly, I would say is that the sauce could be thicker. But yeah. that's, some of these cheeses aren't meant to go into a sauce like this. Mm -hmm. And so they're not going to process correctly. They didn't really melt. But. Yeah. Flavor-wise, oh, this is the best macaroni and cheese I've ever had. Guys, 31 cheeses all put together. Nachos. They were okay. I liked them. They tasted like a really flavorful cracker. Sandwich. It was okay. I'm not a sandwich person, so. It was good. Yep. The pasta. Oh my gosh. The flavor of the, the mac and cheese is so good. I don't know if I've ever had a mac and cheese that I like better than that. Like, no. It really comes through well and delicious. Oh. Guys, is there anything else really weird that you want to see us do in the kitchen? We make lots of fun foods. We make some strange foods. Anything else you want us to combine? Yeah, I don't think there are many types of food that have as many varieties it's true, as it's cheese. cheese. I guess if you just said like crackers, but that's not the same. Can you guys think of anything weirder? Guys, that's not all. You know, we've always got more for you to see. If you like this kind of content, make sure to hit that box up at the top for our most recent videos, and we'll see you in the next one. Talk to you then.